Hello, I'm Luke Maltabano and this is this week's sports update. It was a busy week for the Wasps, so let's start on the hardwood. The women's basketball team hosted Randolph-Macon College on Saturday on Alumni Appreciation Day. On defense, Sydney McKinney gets the steal and she's going to lead the fast break, take it all the way to the other end of the floor and find Elizabeth Jones for the end one. This was part of a 10-0 run by Emery and Henry. Randolph-Macon in the timeout, very upset about that. And on the next play, uh, former ODAC Player of the Year and All-American Kelly Williams gets a jump shot to drop. Kelly Williams had 17 points and 14 rebounds on the contest. And then Kelly Hatterer then finds Kara Stafford open for an easy layup. Stafford led all scores with 24 points on the contest. And then Sydney McKinney takes the ball coast to coast and she will go in for the layup and get two points. McKinney is currently fourth in the conference in scoring, averaging 15 points a contest. And then junior point guard Kylie Cooper finds Kara Stafford down low and she will score two more points. The Wasps win the contest 72 to 67. The Wasps are currently 10 and 2 in the Yodak and sit in a three-way tie for first place. The men's team was on the road on Saturday and they also faced Randolph-Macon who's third nationally ranked in the country. Colin Molden led the game with 21 points while Anthony Williams added 13. The Wasps committed 27 turnovers and a 79-54 loss to the Yellow Jackets. Josh Talbert led the way off the bench with 16 points. Coming up this weekend is the Emory as the ODAC swimming con uh, championships for the men's and women's swimming team. The, me the men's team will feature two seniors in Jared Baratio and Nick Barr. And on the women's side, they'll feature two swim seniors in Lauren Trotter and Olivia Anson. Anson will be on the set later on to join Cam Durr in this week's sports interview. And uh, the men's team had five wins on the regular season while the women's had six. And the Wasps will feature two members of last year's all ODAX team and Olivia Anton and Kat Swigert. Last year, the men's team finished in sixth place in the ODAX while the women's team finished in fifth. This year, the men are picked to finish seventh and the women are picked to finish fifth. The first race is set for Thursday, February 6th at 6 p.m. While the final race is gonna be set for Sunday, February 9th and the winner will get an automatic bid in the NCAA tournament, which will be in Greensboro, North Carolina on March 18th. That will do it for this week's sports update. I'm Luke Montalbano. Let's now throw it over to Cam Durr for this week's sports interview.